This video steps us through the basic operation of the Angio Defender system. Angio Defender testing should be performed in a warm, temperature controlled room. To perform testing, a properly sized cuff is first selected for the patient's arm. Place the cuff on the patient's arm above the elbow. Make sure the index artery mark is within the range indicated on the cuff. The patient should be seated with the cuffed arm nearest the device. The patient's arm should be relaxed and fully supported. The cuffed arm should be at the same level as the heart. The patient then rests for at least 10 minutes prior to the commencement of testing. The patient is instructed to remain relaxed and motionless for the duration of the test. In particular, the patient should not move the arm that the cuff is on and should remain still and quiet during the rest period and during the active testing. While the patient is resting, patient information can be entered into the Angio Defender system. After the 10 minute rest period, the testing proceeds as follows. The test is initiated by clicking on the start button. First, the system takes a blood pressure measurement Blood pressure will then be displayed on the screen shortly after the cuff deflates. The system then provides a three minute rest period to allow the patient's arm to return to its rested state. After the three minute rest period, there is a sequence of 15 non-occlusive pulse wave measurement cycles, each consisting of nine seconds with the cuff inflated to approximately mean arterial pressure followed by six seconds with the cuff deflated. Next, the cuff is inflated for five minutes to 50 millimeters of mercury above the patient's systolic pressure. This occludes the brachial artery, stopping blood flow to the arm. The patient is informed that the five minute occlusion may be uncomfortable and there may be some tingling in the hand or the arm and that while most people can tolerate the discomfort, if it hurts or is too unpleasant, the test can be stopped. Approximately 30 seconds after the cuff deflates, the system begins a sequence of 25 non-occlusive pulse wave measurement cycles using the same pressure and sequencing as used prior to the five minute occlusion. After the completion of these 25 inflations, there is a delay of several seconds followed by the appearance of the test report on the screen. The report displays the patient's percent of flow mediated dilation as a percent change in arterial diameter. It also displays the patient's systolic, diastolic and mean arterial pressures, pulse rate and patient information entered prior to testing. The cuff is then removed from the patient's arm and the test is complete.